hello my flowers and welcome back to maddie vlogs and does and today this um video is going to be in regards to another uber eats adventure you guys know i do uber this is the current map of what's happening um today is the 21st of um september i'm gonna go to my earnings well first of all i want to show you guys um that i'm at 97 percent and i've already delivered 717 orders um i'm trying to get to 100 percent um of satisfaction rate um by the end of next month and it's now if you can see the picture where it says madeline i'm now back to platinum and that fluctuates a lot for those of you that are not new or for those of you that want to do um uh, videos i mean not videos sorry for you for those of you that want to do deliveries with uber the little diamond next to your picture is going to fluctuate you're going to get points um that give you certain um uh promotions or like for example if you go to your 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 account and you go to uber eats pro it's going to show you up until when I am at Uber Eats Pro Platinum. Um, so they're giving me from now until October 31st um, to get 600 points and to stay as the Uber Eats Pro Platinum. Right now I have 320 points and with these 320 points, I can unlock any of these um, rewards. So discounts to Dental and Vision, Turbo Tax, free health savings account, 100% tuition coverage, um, up to 25% car maintenance, um, and then if you hit, of course, like let's say I want to get 25% off car maintenance, but if you, you guys know, and you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I have been going through um, hell and back uh, <laughs> for me to get um, uh, my car fixed and everything uh, situated with my vehicle. So this would give me 25% off anything else that I would need, etc. So as you can see, um, I can um, unlock like cash back on fuel, platinum discount hub, save up to 7% per gallon with BP and, and Amico, QuickBooks self-employed discount. Um, so it's a whole bunch of cool stuff that you guys can get. So that's what that means for those of you that just started doing Uber or have not done Uber or would like to do Uber and you want to know what you get out of being a platinum, not platinum, green, etc. So now we're going to go over to um, the earnings. And as you can see for today, I have nothing because I didn't go out. I didn't do um, Uber Eats today. However, we're going to go to the details. Um, we're going to go to last week. So last week, which was from September 13 through September 20, I only did three days out of the week. Um, I'm trying to minimize the days that I go out so that I can accomplish having at least one full day off um out of the week which i'm going to assume it's going to be on a friday um this upcoming week that's not going to happen um only because i have a few events and a few bills that i'm trying to catch up on um after being 3100 dollars down with um expenses with my vehicle so um, as you can see, the breakdown in the three days that I went out, I did 14 hours. So I was basically doing like four and a half or five hours every time I went out. I accumulated 112 points, did 28 trips. This is my net fare, 126 plus the promotions, 24 cents. Um, I made almost the same amount of money that I made on my net fare with my tips. So that was really good. Um, on Friday, I made $96. And I made um, 10 trips. That's not bad. I could have made a little bit more. Um, however, I, I had to go to work the next day and cover a shift. Um, and then I did Uber Eats anyway after I covered the shift. Then the next day I did five hours. Um, so, I mean, sorry. So this day on Friday I did $68. So I had to stop. I could have made a little bit more. And then on Saturday I went to do my shift and then made 96 bucks i wanted to reach 100 and something but couldn't make it i was exhausted then on sunday i made i was outside for three hours and 23 minutes i did seven trips and only made it to 68 dollars um so now you see the pattern for those of you that would like to do some uber eats as a walker because i am a walker um now you see the pattern of the how, how between the trips that you make and the amount of money that you can possibly make so before going out and doing your uber eats as a walker 
um, you can set a limit of amount of trips that you want to do every time you go out. So let's say, um, let's say if I would have went out today, a day like today, I would have to go out in the morning and then I would have to be, um, at work for my three o'clock shift from three to 1130. Me knowing that, um, I could easily go out you know, do my deliveries, but I would have to set a timer for myself. Like I would have to set like a four to five hour timer, um, so that I can get at least an hour and 30 minutes in between, then go to my other job and do a seven, seven hour shift. And between the Uber each shift, um, or within the Uber each trip, I know that I would be able to do, um, be anywhere between seven to maybe 10, um, deliveries. And that will get me anywhere between 70 to maybe 80, $90. So that's something that you have to be um, aware of. The amount of trips that you make will equal the amount of money that you make, especially if you're doing it in Manhattan. I am one that does it in Manhattan and in Brooklyn. I have not done it in Queens. I have not done it in the Bronx. I have not done it in Staten Island, um, which I'm going to, to do once I get my car fixed. That's like the determination factor of how I get this money is when I get my car fixed, I can go to other boroughs and see what's going on in other boroughs. I know in Brooklyn as a driver, even if I set myself as a walker, I'm going to make almost the same amount of money that I make um, doing Uber Eats in the city. And the orders always go fast. They always, they always come up very quickly and they leave you within the, the vicinity. Um, in Manhattan, the orders don't come up as quickly as I would like. Um, it's not like back to back to back to back when I'm doing it as a walker, um, especially in the morning. I would have to wait like maybe anywhere between five to ten minutes in between each delivery order. Um, once it becomes closer to the afternoon, that's how I see it. Sometimes it's very busy, like the weekend is very busy, so you won't have to wait more than five minutes in between each order to be able to get the order, pick it up, drop it off, etc. But it's important that you set yourself um, a, the, the amount of trips that you want to make for the day um, so that you know how much you would make, especially if you do it in Manhattan. All these three days, as you see here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I made, and as you can see, look, on Friday, it, I went out and it was very late. I did five hours. I started at like damn near seven o'clock and I was out for like five hours to do $68. In comparison to Sunday, I was out for three hours and made $68. So had I done the, the five hours on Sunday that I did on Friday, I would have made myself $100 without a problem. Um, so this week, my goal is to start doing the delivery starting tomorrow. I'm planning to be outside for maybe two to three hours. So I know in the morning, I can definitely, 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 if I do it in the morning, make anywhere between 40 and $50 um, dollars in the morning. Hopefully I can make more. Um, but my goal for the trips is to do five to seven trips within that time because tomorrow I have to be at work at one o'clock as opposed to three. Um, and I'm going to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, even though I have an event to attend to on Saturday. But if I go on Saturday and start off between maybe like six to maybe nine, 10 o'clock at night, that should give me more than enough time to make anywhere near a hundred dollars or e anywhere between 80 and a hundred dollars. So those are the things that you want to keep in mind. When I did the deliveries this week, I did deliveries, um, near 59th street. I realized that that's like my money maker. Um, area also 14th Street Union Square that's also a money ma maker area if you want to be around there as a walker um, I don't suggest anybody walking like in the Bronx um, even though I know that people do a lot of deliveries because that's all you see is people delivering all the time in the Bronx but they they're on their scooters because the blocks are so extensive they're so long and you go everywhere in the Bronx but there is money to be made out here um, the tips might not be as good and you might have to set the amount of limits uh, I mean sorry the amount of trips higher than you would if you would be in the city so let's say if you're in the Bronx and um, to be able to make in the city seven, uh, $70 with like 70 deliveries, which means you're making like seven, uh, 10, 10 to $20 per delivery, including the tip. If you go to the Bronx, you're going to have to do maybe 20 deliveries to get the $70, but you would have to be like on a scooter or on an e-bike or in a car and set yourself as a walker and get yourself as many, you know, deliveries as possible. Um, sorry, if you're in the Bronx, set yourself as a bike to get as, as many deliveries as possible. So, um, 
what else did I want to talk to you guys about? Another tip that um, I have you know given myself is you know those little smart small carts to take your laundry and to do the groceries you can get yourself one of those you get a medium size i know there's a lot of men that go out there and do it more than the ladies that do like uber eats grubhub and all this stuff i got myself as a walker a little cart i'm not gonna take it to um with me on the days that i have to go to work but friday saturday and sunday definitely even though on sundays i have to go to work but there's no supervisors on site so i can definitely bring it with me i have my i got myself a small cart and that helps me with like the Dwayne Reed deliveries the rite aid cvs deliveries where people are literally um giving you a list of their groceries and sometimes you can make yourself a quick 14 to maybe 25 dollars with one order if you if you can take a lot of the um the items that they're delivering so hopefully you guys um take these tips and you know find yourself your hot spot because even though you on the app it tells you like for example on the app it's going to show you the red hot spots is where the money really is and that's where you want to be so that it can take you to the yellow spots and then some okay there is an alchemy to this there is a um a algorithm and alchemy some sort of thoughts to how the apps work so um if you um set yourself as a walker you want to be in the hot spots you want to get the where the red is however some hot spots sometimes don't work for people like sometimes 59th street 86th street 60 something street 70 something street it's not always a hot spot for people but guess what those areas work for me sometimes for the bikers on 14th street those areas are not hot spots for people, but those are the areas that work for me, you know, as a walker. So you have to see how it works for you when you set yourself as a as a walker or you set yourself as a bike. My advice and my tip is that if you don't have a vehicle like a bike, a scooter or a um, or a car, do not you set yourself up as a biker because sometimes the delivery um, ranges can be anywhere from 14th Street to like 50 something Street, 14th Street, 42nd Street, and you're only getting like five, six dollars for that. So you don't want to kill yourself and you don't want anybody reporting you on the app. OK, your goal is to make your money, get your ratings high. Um, and the third goal is also to. I'm going to zoom in right now. There's no like opportunities, but sometimes they have promotions. If you go to your promotions um, section in the app, like for example, a day like today between two and five, you can get um, 1.2 booster booster trips. When you have these symbols or these signs, it means that you can either get more points sometimes or, you know, you get more points like the points that I have. Um, so that you can become either a platinum like I am now, et cetera. Like if you go to Uber Eats. So there is a point system. There is a, a metric system that you, you can reach. Um, you can either get, let me show you the promotions. You can either get points. So when you, you guys see the little symbol that is on the right side of my screen right now. So when you see that up symbol, it, it can mean you can get more points between two and five um, or a boost in your trip, meaning you can click the symbol and there's sometimes locations where you can only do deliveries off of that location. When I get to the point where all my, my um, bills are stabilized so that I can start saving up even more money um, and um, not only save up more money but finish fixing my car, I'm going to try to um, hit the locations where I'm just delivering off of one store. And those booster trips are great trips for people that want to do the late night hours or the overnight hours. If you want to go and work with one store only and get your deliveries like that, I've heard that that's the way to go. So one day I will try it and I will definitely make a video about it. But for right now, I'm going to stick to the matrix, uh, the metrics of getting points only during these times. So, um, I hope that the tips in this video have helped. Oh, look at here. So look at the boost system. So right here, it's uh, very busy here. So it'll tell you there are a lot of orders in this area right now. Even though it's not red, people are delivering a lot. Okay. That's what that means. So you see how it's not red. So let's see like over here by Junction Boulevard. It's not red, but if you hit it, it's giving you a lot of orders and the minimum miles for the orders are 12. So you want to be where your hot spot is just because 
you're not in the red area doesn't mean there's not a lot of orders going out within the area you just have to know what works for you and what's more convenient for you and what makes you more comfortable so again i hope these tips have helped you guys out please do not forget to like share comment subscribe hit the bell button so you guys can get notifications i upload videos um from tuesday to friday between four and five that's gonna be um my algorithm for this channel um even though i wasn't planning to do things like that but i, I i'm gonna upload them between four um and five um uh, between tuesday and fridays so four days out of the week and those are my hours so again please like comment share subscribe hit, click the bell button and most importantly do not forget to water your life bye guys i love you all